Hey moviegoers, Ducky Buns here, and today we are doing a new series called Everybody Loves Trailers, where we watch the newest movie trailers together. During the video, there will be a box right down here that will be playing the trailer, and in the description there will be a link to the trailer itself, just in case you want to watch it after this movie. And as always, we would love to hear from our viewers. Leave us something in the comment section below, any feedback, any questions, or anything you want us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave it there. And on your way there, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. In today's episode, we'll be watching the new trailer for the next Mission Impossible movie, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning 1. Thomas Cruz at it again. I think that's his name, right? Yeah, that's his name. This is the seventh Mission Impossible movie, and I've got really high expectations. Now remember, this will also be my first time watching the trailer. Anyways, I've got my sticky notes right here, so I'm going to take some notes while we're watching the trailer together, and then afterwards, we can go over my notes, and then go from there. Let's get started. Desert. Oh, Bumblebee. Oh, this random dancing. Your days of fighting for the oh, so called oh. greater good oh, are oh. over. Okay, looks fun. Oh, this more desert. Our chance to control the truth. Oh, there's like a key. The concepts the brain thing? of right and wrong. Oh, for everyone. Oh, is that him? Was that Cap? Can't be Cap. Oh, you're fighting to save oh. a night. I patch it. doesn't exist. Okay. Oh man. Oh, You're suddenly. Dead. You need to pick oh, that's the guy again. He looks so familiar. Ooh. Oh, more desert. Man. Fighting sewer. Bumblebee again, what's he doing? Bumblebee! What? Oh, Tom Cruise running. <laughs> Can't have a movie without it. Oh, oh the train. Okay, where's the train? Going to Hogwarts. Oh wow. Yep, oh Tom Cruise jumping off of a, a top building thing. Wow. Oof, man. Well that was harder than I thought. I couldn't keep up. But um I did write down some stuff. Um let me pause the trailer here. Alright, so I wrote down some stuff. Um I took down some notes. I've got Bumblebee. Oh, look at this. I, uh, I don't know what I did. I got Bumblebee, Desert, Old Guy. I think that old guy looked really familiar. Um, they, they had that key thing. They had the, the, looks like something's in the brain. I don't know what that is. They had, oh, the eye patch, eye patch lady. Then they had the submarine that exploded. Bri oh, they were fighting with swords on the bridge. That was pretty cool. And they had Tom Cruise running, so, Tom, you know, Tom Cruise movie. Uh, let's see, we got, oh, and then he, he did a, he did another big jump off of uh, the mountain. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my notes to figure out what exactly I was trying to say um, and gather my thoughts. In the meantime, check out our next viewer suggested section and I will see you in a minute. Hey folks, got a lot of questions coming in asking us what exactly we use here at Everybody Loves Movies in terms of equipment. So I just wanted to give some insight into exactly what we've been using uh, one of the most important things we do use is our tripods. We use the Sensine tripod with remote. It came with the phone holder attachment. However, we also use it for our lights and for our Canon camera. Disclaimer, I do not work for Sensine, nor are they sponsoring this video. We really like it because we're able to use it for most of our equipment. 
and it's super sturdy, super reliable, and it's an overall great purchase without hurting your budget. Feel free to check it out yourself and tell me how you like it. Take it easy. Welcome back, everybody. Um, so yeah, lots to unpack from that trailer. A lot going on. One of the questions was, who was that that old guy that was talking to, to Tom? Come to find out, he, no wonder he looked so familiar. He was from the first movie. So it's crazy. It's like everything has come full circle. It actually, you know, now I think about it, part one, mm, that might mean this might be the final two, three movies in the Mission Impossible series. I'd hate to say that, but I guess it makes sense. Kind of like what they did with, you know, the Avengers, you know, part one, part two. But yeah, I expected to go out with a bang then. Haley Atwell was there. Uh, she didn't have her shield, but that's okay. Um, obviously, a different movie. She looks like she's going to be part of the new crew, but who knows? I'm not sure, usually. Haley Atwell's a good guy, so I can assume. Bumblebee was there. I was not expecting that. Is this the, the, the Mission Impossible crossover with Transformers that we never asked for? Maybe? Nah, probably not. Then we've got lots of desert scenes. So I'm, I'm assuming somebody's going to get stuck in the desert and need to survive, maybe. And usually it happens. Nine times out of ten, if there's a desert scene, there's someone getting stranded in the desert. Then there was a scene with the, the key um, and then the brain... I don't know if that was a brain. It was like a mind or something. And it was like all these lines coming out of it. And I, I'm assuming something's gonna... There's some computer that they're gonna hack. Usually that happens. Betting it not some sort of computer. Uh, some sort of AI. AI. It's always the AI. Yeah. Then we got the train scene. I don't know what to expect from that. Uh, they were just trying to, trying to cut each other from, a, from across the other train. That's going really fast inside of a tunnel. I don't know what's going to happen there. That's that's a Tom Cruise movie. The train goes over the cliff. Or no, I'm sorry. The train tracks are broken. So it goes over the cliff. Goes into straight into Hogwarts. Just like, bam. Just runs right into Hogwarts. Right next to the school. You really can't do a Mission Impossible movie without Tom Cruise running. Tom Cruise jumping off of something really tall. And Tom Cruise doing something where something explodes. That's usually involved in a Tom Cruise movie. And you know, now that I think about it, Tom Cruise is probably doing all of his stunts. Well, if not all of it, most of it. And that's... He's been doing that for, like, decades. So, good on you, Tom. Good on you. Keep it up. You know, he's doing, like, a Jackie Chan thing. Which is hard to do. There's a lot of broken bones. Crazy. Then there's the part with the green gas. Didn't know what's going on, but it looks like they poisoned some folks. Which was super, super graphic. Did not expect to show that. Oh, right. And then there was the eye patch. The eye patch lady. Who was a sniper. And she was in the desert too. So I bet you she's super important in that desert scene. Probably. Probably going to be super important in that desert scene. I can see that. I don't know. It's a movie. That mountain was super high that he jumped off of. Um... But, I mean, I'm, I guess I should expect it since it's a Tom Cruise movie at this point. It's always going to have one of those big jumps. But, yeah, man. Good on you, Tom Cruise. There were also lots of returning folks. You've got Ving Rhames, uh, Simon Pegg, the blonde lady, the, the, the old guy, Tom Cruise. Yeah, his stunts. You know, you got a bunch of explosions, got a bunch of cars, got a bunch of submarines, got a bunch of helicopters, got a lot of fighting, lots of weapons. So yeah, lots to expect from this next movie. Alrighty, folks, thank you for joining me on our very first episode of Everybody Loves Trailers. I'm super excited for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 to come out. Can't wait to see how they end the whole series. We've got lots of content coming up. And if you haven't already, check out our last video, Ambulance. We had a special guest, Tom Cruise, there. Just want to give a huge thank you to all our viewers so far. We've hit 100 subscribers. We can't thank you enough. And we will see you next time.